What's up, Long Beach? Welcome back to LBPostSports.com. This is Mike. And JJ. And if it's March, that must mean that the Long Beach Poly girls basketball team is in a state semifinal game. This one they hosted against their CIF semifinal opponent, the Troy Warriors. Troy, obviously paced by number 15, Alex Sanchez. That's her right there. Sanchez, the key to their offense, obviously the key to the Poly defense. That's right, and they uh, they did key on her early and often, as you see uh, a, a little bit more of the roster here. That's Crystal Guarin. This is the uh, this is the second time these two teams have played in a couple weeks here. This time at home for Pauly, they played at Cabrillo in the semis, so we kind of knew what to expect coming out of the gates. A lot of shooting from Troy around the edges, um, and for Pauly, trying to trying to use that size advantage that they have. Nothing new for the Rabbits. But instead, it was a guard. It was Brittany Wilson inside who had uh, 10 points in the first quarter. Um, on defense, Pauly obviously keying on Sanchez, and then it was just the Wilson show for the rest of the first half. Wilson, Wilson, Wilson. She had, like I said, 10 of her 16 points in the first quarter. Um, got them out to a hot start that they needed, it turned out, throughout the rest of the game. But the shooting of uh, Alyssa Ito kept the Warriors in the game here. She had 13 on the night. A good transition from the Jackrabbits also was a key, especially early. Uh, in the late, in the later parts, they, they weren't able to get as much going on in the transition. But uh, the Troy students letting you know that, yes, they do know the English language. And, yes, Alex Sanchez is a beast. I, she did back come to back out and hit the back-to-backs. But I don't know that you'll actually find her name in the dictionary. <laughs> if I'm being totally honest. Those back to back threes and this steal right here and this uh, subsequent free throws actually gave Troy their first lead of the game. That's right, which uh, Polly battled back as much as they could. It was again Wilson's all inside uh, the Warriors' defense. Gives Polly a one point advantage at the half. Um, but they came out lethargic in Look this game. Look at Ito go. That's right. Ito, 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 eating them up on the inside and, and that turnovers play right, from That play Pauly. right there kind of tells the story. And this one, too, apparently this is traveling. Not sure about that. But That's they just, couldn't get, they the just couldn't get anything going until yeah. the fourth. That's right. Until the fourth when all of a sudden everything was going. Everything was falling for Polly. Uh, even when Sheila Boykin misses it, the underhand and one. That's huge. a horse shot. Granny shot right there. That is, but you know what? It works, and that's all they needed uh, here. More Wilsons. More Wilsons. Surprise, surprise. The Twins had 21 on the night. That that right there, that that layup on the transition, forcing Troy to take a timeout, that's huge. And that it's proved a difference because right here, out of that timeout, Troy turns the ball over on the over and back, and then the next play, a heck of a way to get your first two points of the night. This is what makes you an All-American. The and one from Monique Oliver struggled throughout the night, but she got the points when they needed them. Ito kept them tight through the end of the fourth, but ultimately it just wasn't enough. Two-point game, though, and it came down to the free throws from Crook Williams. Yeah, that's right. Araya hit four straight to end it. Pauly, 10 of 12 from the line in the dance, fourth rabbits, quarter. Dance, Rabbits, dance. Six-point win. They're going to the regional championship against Colony. That'll be Saturday night at the UCLA Poly Pavilion. That kind of Poly, baby. That's uh, that's too easy. 